Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Man, we got another good one for you. We're gonna do smoked lasagna on the pit boss. Oh my gosh, this recipe, now this is not a quick recipe, but it doesn't take that long to do, and oh my gosh, the end result is so good, you're gonna be a hero with your family when you serve this to them. So stick around and we'll show you how to do it. Hang tight. All right, we've got our Dutch oven hot. I do love cooking on cast iron and I try to whenever I can. A lot of people say it doesn't make any difference, but it does to me. All right, we're gonna throw one pound. Now, it is ground sirloin. So we're making it out of good stuff. Also, I'm gonna put a pound of sausage now this is one we happen to like this is jimmy dean's um, medium can't get away with putting the hot sausage in the wife won't eat it but let's mix that in and brown it too now this little handy dandy gadget just makes this so easy. I really don't want a whole lot of big clumps in this. All right, let me get this browned up. Okay, you see we got it nice and brown and there's just a little bit of oil. I would say most of that's from the sausage, really. But very little. Now we're gonna add our onions. Now this was two small onions. That may be, I don't know, maybe as much as a cup of onions. We like onions, especially the sweet white onions. I'm putting, that's about a quarter cup of fresh chopped basil. Let's stir all this in. All right, next I want to put in some oregano, oregano, and now this is up to you. This is, um, I'm gonna put a good two tablespoons in it. I'm gonna put some chopped parsley. Now, this isn't fresh. I couldn't find any at the store, but we're gonna put a nice heaping bit. That may be up to a quarter of a cup. Let's get that stirred in. And again, <laughs> I know I say this every time, but you should smell this. The aroma of these aromatics and the seasoning going together. All right, next, black pepper. Now this is 16 mesh pepper, so I'm not gonna go real heavy. That's a big heaping tablespoon of 16 mesh pepper. All right, here's where we deviate a little bit. You can use diced tomatoes. You can use minced tomatoes. Either one will work. I'm gonna let this cook down. So I like to start with diced. To me, if you use minced to start with, 
you might as well use tomato sauce and you could cheat all of this you could use one of the big jars of spaghetti sauce I guess but you'd miss out on some of this flavor all right I am going to add some tomato sauce now that was two 14 ounce cans 14 point whatever it is and of the diced this is the same size with the tomato sauce all right next I'm gonna add tomato paste now one trick I've learned if you cut both sides it'll, you can just push it right through that makes it real easy to get most of it just be sure to take the tin out leave those ends in there and then stir it in all right this is a little wine i'm gonna put about half a cup in it i don't tell anybody that's my little secret you could use whatever wine you like that's just one i happen to like cooking with that's half a cup now you don't want to use the wine use chicken stock beef stock you can even use water this just adds a little mm, to it all right you see what we got see the consistency that's just right and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn this this is a one of the new wave cooktops that i'm using i'm going to turn it down on low and i want it to go about 130 degrees right there and i'm gonna let this simmer now you need to let this simmer for an absolute minimum of an hour now i started this at lunchtime we're going to eat it for supper it to finish put this together and finish it does not take long maybe an hour so the longer you let this go the better it's going to turn out so i'm going to let this go about four hours so once we simmer it let it simmer i'll bring you back okay well let's go ahead and make some of the rest of this now i'm going to make up our cheese mix to go in here this is a 32 ounce container of ricotta cheese and we're going to try to put this whole thing there we go in one piece in this bowl I'm going to take an egg and put in with it. I'm going to take about two tablespoons of parsley. Uh, about two tablespoons of parsley. And then about half a teaspoon nutmeg it's just ground nutmeg and let's take and mix this all together all right and you see that's about the consistency you're gonna get there we go okay let's cover this 
do a good old aluminum foil, get it down there on tight, and we're gonna let this sit in the refrigerator till we get ready to use it. Okay, well, we have let this simmer for four hours. Look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness, I tasted it. Mm. All right, let's start off. We're gonna spray this 13 by nine pan with a little cooking spray. And then we're gonna lay down some of our sauce, okay? And we just wanna take and lay it down so we cover the bottom. Like that, okay? All right, next, we're gonna take a layer of our lasagna noodles. Now, this I'm using is a keto-friendly lasagna noodle. This whole thing is gonna have about four grams of serving of carbs. Okay, there's our first layer. All right, we're gonna cover these noodles with our second layer of meat. And we're gonna do like we did on the bottom. We're just gonna cover it up here. Okay, mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna cover this layer. Works out just right. That was a one pound package. And that covered that layer perfectly. All right. Next, we're going back with meat, and we're gonna use the rest of our meat on this last layer. Okay, all right, so we've got that layer covered up. Next, we're getting into our ricotta, okay? And I'm gonna put this right on top of the meat because I want it to mix. Now, a lot of people will put a layer between the meat and the cheese, not me. I want this right in the top. This is where you see, I'm just gonna take it and smooth it out. And this is gonna be my Cheesy cheese layer right here on top. And this uses up the last of the ricotta. So what's last? All right, I've got Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna take the Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle it, not heavy, heavy, but right on top of this. And that's probably maybe a quarter of a cup in on top of it. And for the last of it, I'm gonna use my favorite. This is sharp cheddar cheese. Hmm, I do love it. All right, so over the ricotta and the parmesan. And there we go, that's it. Now you can sprinkle a little parmesan, why not? Over the top, 
I'm not going heavy heavy with the Parmesan over the top of the cheddar cheese just a light little sprinkle alrighty and that's it okay well again this is lightly tinted I'm gonna put this on the top rack and I want to make sure that smoke can get under it let's close it up I have this set on 375 degrees all right we're gonna smoke this for 25 minutes and I'm gonna take that tinted foil off the top and I'm gonna cook it for 25 more minutes okay we're 25 minutes in let's take our aluminum foil off we're gonna just take it off completely and look at there mm -mm. all right we're gonna close it back up we're gonna let this cook for 25 more minutes all right we've actually gone 30 minutes with the foil taken off we're gonna turn this off there we go and let's take this out and oh my goodness does this look pretty there you go look at this all right we're going to take it over to the table let it cool a lot and then we're going to try it okay well let's see if we can get a piece of this smoked lasagna out of here man does this smell good mm. it's time to take a bite of this i'm going in it's hot Man, is this good. You will not believe how easy this is. Just put it all together. Man, I can taste that smoke taste. I'm sorry. I got to have another one. Mm. All those flavors go together. Man. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. If you haven't already, how about hit the circle on this side, subscribe, like the video. I'll have another video for you on this side. Until next time, hang tight.